Good evening and welcome to another edition of Miked Up. Louisiana returns home this weekend to host their Sunbelt Western Division rival in Arkansas State. For a preview, we're bringing in KAIT Sports Director Chris Hutchinson out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Always good to talk Fun Belt anytime, anywhere. Always good to talk Fun Belt. Now, all right, Chris, let's begin with Arkansas State so far. It was a rough first half of the season, sitting at 2-5, and five, including 1-3 and three in Sun Belt play. What's been the biggest issue with the Red Wolves? Honestly, it's just finishing games where the Red Wolves have dropped. Honestly, the Red Wolves should be 5-2 and two at this point of the season. They've dropped three games where they've led in the fourth quarter. They fell at Old Dominion in the conference opener. They had a chance to win a rivalry game against Memphis. And then last week was the, the most bizarre of the lot where Red Wolves led by 12 at Southern Miss with 12 minutes to go, but squandered that lead. The Red Wolves have shown glimpses of playing foot, football well in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. The problem has been just putting it all together for four quarters. Now, quarterback James Blackman has made a name for himself over the years, transferring from Florida State to A-State. What's the biggest difference you've noticed from Blackman in year two in Jonesboro? A lot more comfortable with this offense, and, and the stats honestly show it. You know, over 1,600 passing yards, double-digit touchdowns, but one interception all, all of this season now. He's taken... Quite a few hits in the backfield as, you know, A-State is rebuilding and regrouping on the offensive line. But if Blackman has time in the pocket, he can really do some damage. But teams have really been able to key in on that offensive line. You no, know, a lot of pressures, a lot of blitzes, and you've kind of seen both ends of the coin for the A-State offense as a whole. That's Chris Hutchinson, sports director at KIT in Jonesboro. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. See you next time.